Okay. All right, next we're going to talk about the Gore-Tex vent and some of the unique ways that this actually adds to the performance, durability of your board. Okay, so the, the Gore-Tex really does add durability. So I'm just going to bring a board over to the camera and show you guys. So I hope we can all see this. So what we have is uh, we have a plastic housing that we make ourselves in-house. Uh, an aluminium uh, screw that screws into that <clears throat> and then inside there is some rubber seals and a piece of Gore-Tex that's actually built into the aluminium now, we've teched up a little. So now I'll explain what the Gore-Tex is about and why you need to have it. So as you remember before, we we're using the EPS foam as a core, so I'll bring that over too. And hopefully we can get the light right. And you can see that what you've got is lots of little beads. So in the EPS foam, if you imagine styrene beads, what you find inside a bean bag. So that's what EPS is. It comes in various densities as well. So each of those beads is like a little ping pong ball. It's like a sealed unit. And if you were to fill a box up with ping pong balls, what ends up happening is there's a space between all the beads in that box. And so air is free to move through that. And also too, like there's enough air in this that I can actually place my mouth to it and draw air through the foam. So what happens is when the board gets hot, that air that's inside it wants to expand and when it gets cold it wants to contract and so the Gore-Tex is actually a fine membrane and it allows air to go in and out constantly with the rise and fall in temperature but it doesn't let water through so it's, it's such a fine membrane the water molecule is too large and air, an air molecule can sneak through so it ends up that a board that doesn't have a vent it doesn't have a, any type of vent. Like you can have a manual vent where you can undo it or do it up, or you can have a Gore-Tex vent. With a Gore-Tex vent, you basically don't have to worry about it. Like every day, temperature rises, air goes out, cools down, air goes in. If your board doesn't have a vent and it's sealed, what can happen is eventually it fatigues and just gets old before it's time. As the board heats up, it expands, as it cools down, it contracts, and every day you've got this. It's just like getting a coat hanger and you bend it and bend it till it breaks. So a board that doesn't have a vent will eventually just fatigue and get floppy and feel worn out. And it's like you could leave it sitting in your garden shed for two years, go to surf it again, and you wonder why your board feels different or why it's deteriorated. And it's because those materials have fatigued inside the board and just stressed it out. And that comes with time. So a Gore-Tex vent enables the board to just stay in pristine condition for as long as you need to use it, like forever. Like it just keeps it in great condition. So there's another way you can get away without using a vent, and that is if you use a higher density EPS core. You virtually want to run, we run a 13, you've got to get up over 20, and once you get close to 30 kilos a cubic metre, you don't need a vent because the the beads are so tight, so closely spaced, there's not enough air in there to do damage to a board. But you can still have issues with deck d lambs and things like that, so it's not ideal. But the problem is the board gets heavier, and as well as that, because the core is now stiffer, the board doesn't flex as much, and we all know that if it doesn't flex, you don't have spring back. And then you come back to your performance issues again. So you see a lot of these aspects are in common. They add performance and they add durability.